Hey, what's going on guys? This is the HyperX Alloy Origins RGB um, Aqua key. Um, this is the full size um, Alloy, Alloy Origins RGB. Uh, yeah, it has uh, Aqua switches. Um, as you can see, it's the Aqua um, color. And um, I've been using this for the past like maybe month and a half. I can't remember, but uh, it's really solid keyboard I would highly recommend um, I did switch from the uh, previous keyboard in the last video the CK351 because I kind of wanted a more responsive keyboard and this definitely delivers on that um, with while also being tactile um, now as you can see the RGB is quite nice um, there is uh, three different preset functions, so uh, you got rainbow, uh, okay, I think because the program is on, it by default, all the effects are the same, so I'm not sure what it is now, but uh, we got breathing, of course, yeah, I, I will show you the program but, um, in a sec, but I'll just show you all the different effects, it's confetti, which looks nice. Um, I'll just um. So I got the the blinds open, but I'm gonna close them because you can actually see how it looks in the dark, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, breathing again, confetti, swipe. I, I like this one. I mean, this is pretty cool, but I not that I've used it. It's pretty good though. Um, maybe I should use it. You got solid, so you can just pick whichever color you want. Um, twilight, that's just like lighting up sort of stars. Um, yeah, you got the default wave. And then sun, this is a weird one. Um, I mean, it looks kind of cool, but not really my thing. Personally, I just prefer the rainbow wave. Um, that just is, yeah, you know, it's a... Um, gaming keyboard um but yeah like i think there was a couple other effects but for some reason since i have this program open oh triggered effects here we go so we've got flame so it's like fire or something explosion that's pretty dope um fade yeah kind of boring um I think I was using Flame. That was like one of the presets. Because like when you don't have the program on these <coughs> function key, uh, settings, um, or keys, I mean, don't actually um, work for some reason. <laughs> like usually they do, but I think because I have the program open, it doesn't want to work. Um, but yeah, like in terms of like the key feel, like the bump it's actually quite nice like i have tried cherry mx browns um in stores and i just didn't like them and i did a lot of research on what some of the nicer sort of in between switches and aqua seemed to come up quite a bit other than you know the custom sort of keys that you uh key switches that you could get to make your own keyboard so i'm talking pre-build like this obviously um by hyperx and yeah this seemed like one of the better options and honestly i'm not disappointed because um like i'll just do a typing test like the sound is quite nice um you know this is not too loud um but you know it's fairly i don't even know what i'm typing it's fairly tactile, like, I could just do that, but, like, does that really give you an idea of how this is? I mean, I'll go on a typing thing to test it out, but, um, you know, this is a very, it's a nice sound, honestly. And I do actually like the feel of the, the default ABS keycaps. Like, I do have some putting caps here that I'm probably going to put on. In the next segment but um yeah like as far as i can tell it, like the shine through like there's no problems like 
on any of the legends. Like it looks pretty clear and bright. Like this is quite a bright keyboard, I would say. Like, um, I don't know if it's brighter than my previous keyboard, but it is pretty damn bright, which is one of the other reasons I wanted this keyboard because it's just so vivid with the colors and um, just really pops. And yeah, I mean, you know, this is it's really good build quality. The quality, um, like we got this back metal back plate, it is freaking solid. I'm going to lay it there, and I was going to start typing stuff, but like that is some solid. I think it's aluminum steel. I can't remember. I'll have to check, but like it is, like you know, it's not going to break. It is freaking a solid keyboard, um, and I mean to be fair. Unlike my previous keyboard, um, it isn't waterproof, but I mean, I've been just being very careful to not, um, you know, drink anything at my desk anymore, because, well, I still do, but I tr try to be as careful as possible and keep it as, my drink as far as away as possible, because I don't want that shit to uh, spill, because this wasn't cheap, but it wasn't that expensive either. But, um, yeah, like, I mean, really solid build quality. Um, like, I do know that some people don't like the fact that the Legends, like, see, you got, say, here, the 6, and then you got, I uh, can't remember what that arrow's called, but, yeah, 7 and the and symbol, like, some people prefer the Legends being below the number, Um which is fair enough, I guess, but, um, to me, it doesn't really bother me, uh, much, you know, it doesn't make a huge difference, um, but yeah, like, I do remember seeing this in the 10 keyless, uh, version, which I thought about getting because it was a bit cheaper, but I was like, you know, I, I still like having the numpad there, and the fact that this is quite a compact full-size keyboard, like, it doesn't really do with all any unnecessary space like as you can see it's quite a tight um fit with all the keys on there because some keyboards like you know you got like a bit of plastic on this side like a centimeter or an inch it's just like really unnecessary but honestly i find this to be a really good design um yeah so um what i found with my previous keyboard since they were blue switches is that the keys were too hard to press for one because in games say something like i don't know fortnite um switching weapons like kind of got to be quick so like i'd be pressing x to sh switch to my shotgun or whatever and um like i felt like i had to put too much pressure but now this is just right because i have tried the um uh red version of this but honestly, I prefer the Arcos way better because at least I know when I've actually pressed the key because you've got that tactile bump. And that just makes all the difference for when you're in a game because, like, half the time you don't even know if your input registered. Um, even though I've not had any input problems. Um, but yeah, like, the only um, sort of issues I've heard of is that this um doesn't have any onboard memory so if you try to save profiles from the program on here it's not going to happen it's all stored on your computer which kind of sucks but um it's not a big deal because to be honest i just used the rainbow preset and this other preset that uh for some reason i can't get working at the moment but i'll show you probably later so, um, another thing that it's worth mentioning is that the actuation point is 1.8 millimeters, so, uh, when you press down onto the key, it actuates on 1.8, and the total travel distance is 3.8, um, millimeters, which is pretty good. Now, I did use the red, um, version of this, and I found it to be way more sensitive, despite there being, um the same travel uh, for actuation or whatever and the same amount of weight needed to press that key but um, now that I have this 
I can actually feel when the key is being pressed um, and I know when to back off um, because I have found that, you know, I'd be typing or I'd be playing a game and I'd miss input because I couldn't tell, uh, you know, if my key was about to be pressed or something like that. Like, my brain just could not get used to it. It was really goofing me up, but this is just, like, the perfect option for me, the perfect middle ground. Um, and, like, I know a lot of people say that Cherry MX rounds are crap, and yeah, they are, but, like, I think this is one of the better alternatives to it in terms of from a, you know, com bigger company like HyperX. Um, it's one of the nicer ones. Like, it is quite smooth, and... Like, I, I did so much research into looking for a keyboard because I was just afraid of giving up the Switch again because, you know, I went from red to blue and now to this, and now I'm, I'm actually really happy with this. Um, like, because I was thinking about making my, my own keyboard, um, which I think in the future I might do eventually. Um, but for now, I am pretty satisfied with this one. Like, uh, you know, it, it's really solid build quality. Like, it is, as far as I know, it's about 100 and, Well, I got it on sale for 180 New Zealand dollars, and I'll see if I can convert that to US dollars. Um, like, I think it's about 100 US dollars. I can't remember, but, um, like, it's not, th it's not that expensive. It's, it's cheaper than some of the really overpriced keyboards out there um and you know as far as i can tell it's been worth it uh like i have had to do a lot of trial and error with some of my keyboards but you know that's just how it goes i guess with some things because when it comes to personal preference and not being in person to actually try these things is a big problem because there's so many keyboards with different keys it's like you can't even try in person it's like because they would have to open the box and then they have a open product um and you know i really did try to go to different places to try different keyboards out and i it was so hard to tell because some brands just like from certain companies just felt like crap uh, most of them did and to me this feels so much better than your regular um ass brown because i don't know what they did but they just made the experience feel so much better but i mean at the end of the day it's it's just keys right but you know it, it does make a huge difference um, um another one that i want to mention is the placement of this freaking usb so it is usb c um i'll try and unplug it yeah so got usb c here but the problem is it's on the right side it's like oops uh so why would you put it there like maybe in the middle and on the left like most people would enjoy that or like you know have some kind of cable routing like come on man like it's not a, it's not a deal breaker but it's worth considering if you like having like a clean setup but to be fair it looks fine like it just goes there for my um desk it's not a big deal but um you know it is worth considering because some people really like having it on the left or the center it's just like you know I, I totally get that but at least it does come with usb-c so you don't have to worry about um any usb bullshit usb type b bullshit um and yeah we do have on this side um the numpad uh indicator cap locks as well which is a uh, pretty basic but, um, gets the job done. I, well, is there, like, a scroll? What is this? I don't know what that one does. I don't, like, really use that much. But, yeah, num lock. Got to be on. Um, I don't know why you would have that off. I mean, if you're not doing data entry. Um, but, yeah, so... I will have to put these, uh, pudding, um... HyperX pudding caps on because they are pbt Double shot PBT. Um, like I did try these on my previous keyboard just to see how they would look, but honestly, I think I wasn't bright enough. Um, but I'm gonna 
tried on these. I haven't tried on these, but as far as I could tell from pictures, it looked a lot better than just any old keyboard. But thankfully, these these are um, compatible with most mechanical keyboards. Like I'll show you, it just has the uh, the generic, it has that generic um, plus sign on the bottom for the mechanical key, which is good because you know if you want this on something other than HyperX, most mechanical keyboards will fit it. Um, so that's good to know. But um, yeah, so, oh, another thing I want to mention is the, the rest rest. I'll just show you. Um, I did get this separately. It was on sale from like EB Games. Um, can't really see the logo here. It's kind of hard to see because of the light, but um, yeah, you can kind of see it, kind of, not really, I don't know, but anyway, this is actually quite a nice, um, wrist rest, because I found that, um, in certain games, or if I'm, like, actually standing, like, sitting properly on my chair, I do find it better with the wrist rest, because, you, you know, if you're at the correct angle for your posture, it's good to have a wrist rest because your wrist is actually being pressed down more um, because of that angle. And yeah, like this is a really nice wrist rest because it's super soft. Like it's this sort of um, really soft gel thing. Um, and yeah, it's got rubber feet so it doesn't move around. And um, my only problem with it is if you like to fill it with things, um, if you rub it, um, you'll hands will smell like rubber quite a bit um and yeah it's stinky <laughs> so just take note of that if you're like fiddling with fucking a wrist race but uh yeah yeah just a couple more things this does come like with a standard i believe two-year warranty and the other thing i wanted to mention was is that the feet oh god am i gonna like no okay we're good we're good okay so the feet yeah they do come in yeah i guess technically three options so you got no feet you got the first feet and then you got oh jesus yeah i don't use the the second one but uh yeah so that's that's the options you got and i mean it, it's it's good to have height options you know because everyone's different i just like to keep it in the middle with uh, the little feet and that does help with uh, my playstyle and this is just the back of it nothing really of note to talk about um but yeah i um i'm really happy with this keyboard overall and um i will uh probably talk about more features oh i know i will show you the program okay so we've got Okay, if I can get the right angle. I got the HyperX Ingenuity software. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to wide lens, it's better. Um, unfortunately, this is only available through the Microsoft Store and it's still in beta and I'm pretty sure this keyboard's been out for ages and that the software has been out for a long time too. Um, so, Apparently, a lot of people take problem with that um, because if you want to have, yeah, since it has no onboard memory, if you want to have all your customized effects going on this keyboard, you have to have this open at all times, which is unfortunate, but it's not a deal breaker for me because, like, I just use the generic rainbow effect, which is one of the presets anyway. But, you know, it is worth noting because some people might be bothered by that. And here, you can actually change... I will switch back to this mode. You can change the angle of the rainbow. So, that's actually quite cool. Like, I I think other keyboards do this too. But, um, it's just nice if you want a little different... A little change of pace. So, now it's going up. Well, at a slight angle, but, you know, opacity. And that just turns it on and off, like how bright you want it, basically. Um, but I want it full brightness. 
selection oh you can customize it um but yeah like as i was showing before you got your trigger effects don't want that you can add effects uh yeah that's just how you do it uh you don't you use base settings yeah i want to use the base settings thank you very much um i don't know it, it still doesn't want to do that okay never mind but yeah you can like sh fuck with the colors and stuff which is pretty cool um i i don't know why you really want to do that but you know if you want like a slightly different spectrum of colors it's totally up to you and you can change the speed which is totally awesome because if you want to super freaking fast can do that have a fucking rave in your room um but yeah like it's um it's totally it's totally good man like uh what, what else we got here so i think you can customize individual keys yeah you can reassign keys but um as far as i know i don't really need that uh, for anything in particular um but it is there if you want uh which is really nice so if you want to make probably shortcuts and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, uh, what's a key I never freaking use? Scroll lock. So you can go, yeah, multimedia, macro, mouse function, anything like that. Just pretty much anything you want, really. And that, that's a really good um, little feature you got. So I'm just going to do a little typing test for you. Um, for a little sound test. Alright. <laughs> when you order five fries from five guys. Uh no. Getting in the way a little bit. So good, man. I need that wrist race. Uh. Yeah, I definitely need the wrist wrist. 49. I mean, I was talking, so to be fair, that's actually not bad, but um, 49 words per minute. And uh, yeah, so that's just how it sounds. Like I do think at this angle, because I'm sort of leaning in forward, I do need that wrist wrist, because um, my hands are more like this, which is, um, you know, not great because it kind of fatigues your, your wrist a bit but i do recommend that wrist race it's, it's very nice um but yeah like honestly the sound is really good because with my blue keyboard i think i might have annoyed my my roommate a little bit because it's so freaking loud and i know i annoyed myself with it because it was freaking loud um but other than that you know, I, I'm really satisfied with it because it is quite a satisfying clip. It's like sort of like soft in a little in a, in a way. Well, not that soft. It's still audible, but you know, it's sort of a nice happy medium uh, between a red and a uh, a blue. 
So, you know, as we can tell, uh, that's pretty much all there is to say, other than uh, what it's going to look like with these bad boys, uh, which I will have to show next. Anyways, catch you later. Hey guys, these aren't the PBT um, putting cap uh, keys, but I did get these um, pastel rainbow keycaps from AliExpress, and they're actually really nice, surprisingly. Um, I'm gonna see if, yeah, nope, okay, the functions don't work for the lights, but I can show you that in a minute. But um, I actually really like this, despite it looking like a child's keyboard in a way. Um, I just think it, the aesthetic of it is really nice, and actually, considering these are from um, AliExpress, they feel really nice, they have a nice textured feel. The only complaint I can say for these keys is that some of the paint work on like the bottom, um, it is a little shoddy, like, uh, I mean, I, I'm not sure if this will actually show you or not, but, um, yeah, it's not the best. Hold on, let me get into focus. Yeah, so it's not terrible. It's actually pretty good considering how much I paid for it. I think it was only maybe 20 bucks. And um, these look really nice. And I will try to show you the Ingenuity software. If you can just give me a sec. Now, here is the rainbow effect on the rainbow keycaps. It is translucent, so you can actually see the light through the individual letters and numbers but um personally i just keep it um hidden so i just turn it off because i've been kind of over the rgb i do think rgb is still cool but on my keyboard i kind of i'm kind of over it a little bit i like i think on my computer it, it's all good and you know i get my rgb fix from that just having a look over at that but honestly i i think on my keyboard it's kind of gets a little bit tacky over time but um you know that's just how it is in terms of my personal preference but i can always turn it back on um and i think it is worth looking out there for different types of keycaps to add to even just like a gaming keyboard because they will be compatible with different ones uh well most keyboards i mean and honestly um you can't do much worse because there's some really good cheap um, keycap sets like this. And I'm actually really happy with this one because aesthetically I think it looks great. Even on the black background. I was thinking of getting a maybe different keyboard with a white background. But I think black is fine. Um, you know, I there's not a lot of uh, keyboards with a white back. Um, especially not like hot swappable ones. Unless you want to get the glorious... Uh, what is it called, like GMMK, uh, which is by Glorious PC Gaming or whatever, um, but I, no, actually, um, I stand corrected, that is actually a silverback, this is, uh, that isn't uh, a white one, it has white keycaps, but it's still a silver one, I have a silver keyboard, which I'm considering to change the, uh, actual switches themselves, but I have already done some blue uh, keycaps for that. But of course, we're talking about the HyperX uh, keyboard today, but I just thought I'd show you how this looked with that on. Um, and I think it actually works really well. Um, and you know, it, it is nice because the standard ABS double shot are good, but like, I think this feels so much better in the hand because it's like a nice texture that doesn't get greasy um, over time so much. And personally, I'd recommend it for any um, person who enjoys typing on a nice keyboard because it makes the experience so much better. And it looks cool, so without using light as well. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, thank you. Hey guys, um, just a little update. Yeah, I put the putting caps um, onto the HyperX Alloy Origins keyboard. As you can see, it does look quite nice. Um, I do think I would recommend it if you like that RGB look. But personally, um, as you can see, I have uh, been using a different set of keycaps, like I said in the last uh, segment. But um, 
and I think I'm gonna put them back um, but I just thought you know I'd show you what it looked like I mean to be fair the lighting right now isn't great I'll just close my curtains it's pretty sunny um but as you can see it's pretty bright um I think it looks a lot nicer than it did on my other keyboard I was using the CK351 and that was um, not as bright as this, but I do think it looks quite nice. It is a little bit dusty, <laughs> but um, you know, I, I would recommend it if you like that look. I think, honestly, I reckon maybe it would look better in the white, but I got the black one. So anyway, hope you enjoy and um, that's the end of the video. Thanks.